42 portraits line the court of honor at Les Invalides. Unprecedented outside of Israel for its scale, the national tribute honored the French victims of Hamas's attack on the 7th of October. Addressing politicians, religious figures and the victims' families, French President Emmanuel Macron called it the worst anti-Semitic massacre of this century. Amid the music of a place of celebration, the drumbeat of hell broke out, and the telephones of our children, which up to then filmed the joys of life, became black boxes of horror. More than 750 civilians were killed in the assaults four months ago, including 42 French or French-Israeli nationals. Six were wounded, three are still presumed to be held hostage, and four have been freed. It's the worst toll for French people since the 2016 truck attack in Nice. The ceremony wasn't without controversy. Among those present were left-wing politicians who did not define the attack as terrorism and who weren't welcome, according to some of the victims' family members. Political commentator Jean-Christophe Gallien said Macron was keen to avoid politics in his speech. He didn't make it a geopolitical affair, a diplomatic affair or even a political affair. He made quite a moving speech around human beings, families, universal themes, as well as about France. France has the largest Jewish community in Europe of around half a million people, and there are tens of thousands of French expats in Israel.